Hey, how you doing? I'm Bob Vila, and it is my pleasure to be with you today and to be sharing this message with you. I'm really hoping this video will be a blessing to you. So on my program, This Old House, we take a look at a house, no matter what the condition, and we see how we can help. We especially help the homeowner learn some of the skills and the tricks of the trade that will help you improve your house. So maybe your house has gotten a little bit run down and it needs some work and some changes and some improvements. Let's do some renovations and make it better than it's been in a long time. On the other hand, surprises just come along for you. Maybe something in your house goes wrong. Maybe something starts to break down and you've got to make some changes whether you like it or not. It's time to make some renovations. So for the next several weeks, we'll be talking about renovations and the steps involved in such a project. And that way you'll be prepared because at some time or another in all of our lives, we need to do a renovation. I'm going to go through the five basic steps of a renovation in just a moment so you'll be blessed by this video. But before I do, I also want you to know that we're not just going to talk about a renovation, but we'll see the results of a real renovation right before your eyes. So here are the five steps to a great renovation. You might want to jot them down so you have them when you need them, but we really hope you can tune in for this series and go into more depth on each of these five vital steps. So first, we've got to get started. We'll talk about why you might enter into a renovation on purpose or kicking and screaming We'll get some basic ground rules that'll help the project go well. Then second, you need some partners. You don't have to do this alone, and you really shouldn't. There are lots of people out there who can help you out. They've learned things and developed skills that will make your project go so much easier. Then third, it's time to start making plans. Projects go better when you think through the details carefully. Sure, the plans may change along the way, and the unexpected always comes up, but planning ahead will allow you to be flexible when needed. Then fourth, it's time to rip some stuff out. That's always a little painful, and it can be frustrating when it's old stuff you did really like. However, when you say goodbye to where you have been, then you can also say hello to the wonderful new future in store for you. And then fifth and last, evaluate and celebrate. When you get to the end of a long renovation, you can look back and see what you've learned, new skills you've developed, and you have that great feeling when you, end, when you get to the end of a project well done. We really hope you can attend this series because it will be such a blessing to you. God bless.